Greetings, fellow foodies. Did you know that lentils are the oldest crop known to humankind? Did you know that they date back 13,000 years BC? Did you know that they are also full of protein? Join me today because we will be making lentil soup with curry and coconut milk. Come join me in my kitchen as we make memories one bite at a time. Okay, let me introduce you to our ingredients. We have dried lentils, we have coconut milk, we have vegetable broth, we have canned diced tomatoes with chilies. You do not have to use canned. You can use fresh tomatoes, and typically I do use fresh tomatoes, but I'm out, sorry. We're using canned today. And the good thing about this is it has green chilies in it and it'll add a little bit of flavor to our lentil soup. We also have half of a lime. We have a shallot and you don't have to use shallots, you can use onions. I love shallots because they're a cross between onions and garlic. And anytime a recipe calls for onions and garlic, I typically use a shallot. Our seasonings is adobo seasoning, which has salt, pepper, oregano, and garlic in it. We have curry powder. We have ground turmeric. We have cumin, sorry, cumin. We have cilantro. And I typically use fresh cilantro, but again, I'm out, sorry. So we're using dried, just for today. All right, folks, so the first thing I did is I rinsed off my lentils. You do not have to soak lentils the same way you would dried beans. You know how when you're cooking dried beans, you have to soak them for a time period and then you have to rinse them. You don't have to do that with lentils, but it is a good idea to rinse them and sort through them. So here my lentils are that have been rinsed. I've got a chopped up shallot, and I am heating up my paint, my pot, and I've got some avocado oil here. You can use olive oil. I choose avocado, and I'm gonna put a little slash, little splash in there, and then I'm gonna put my shallot in there to be um, sauteed. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings. I like to add my seasonings whenever I'm sauteing things because when you add seasonings during the sauteing period, it toasts the seasonings and it makes its seasonings taste so much better and it brings the seasonings out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my Goya adobo seasoning in. I'm gonna go ahead and put my curry. And you can always add more after you add the liquids. There's turmeric. There is some smoked paprika. Oh my goodness, it smells so good because, oh, there's the cumin, sorry. It smells so good because it's being toasted. All right, we're gonna stir, 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 stir. So we're sauteing the, the shallot and we're toasting the seasonings. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add the tomatoes with the green chilies, and you wanna add them into your juice. I'm gonna go ahead and add my lentils. And I'm gonna stir that together, because I want the seasonings to stick to my tomatoes 
and my lentils. So we're gonna do that real quick. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my vegetable broth and I'm gonna add just enough to cover the lentils. I think that's good. Let's stir it up and make sure. And again, you can use chicken broth instead of vegetable broth. So I'm gonna use some coconut milk. And the thing about coconut milk is you can store it in at room temperature. It does not have to be stored in the fridge unless you open it. Once you open it, you can store it in the fridge for three days. And yes, coconut milk solidifies during the, when it's in room temperature. Um, and that's normal. It's not, it's not supposed to be liquid. It's actually supposed to be a little bit solid. So for those of you watching me pour that um, coconut milk in, don't be alarmed by the fact that it's solid because it's actually supposed to be solid. So now we've got all of our ingredients mixed together. We are going to let the lentils simmer until they are tender and fully cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this lid on and let them simmer for a while. And we'll be right back. Hey foodies, while we're sitting here waiting for the lentils to cook, I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you and reiterate some things. First of all, you can use canned lentils, so you don't have to use dried. You can use red lentils, green lentils, mixed lentils, it doesn't matter. Also, you can use any vegetable that you want in your lentils. I like tomatoes with green chilies and shallots. Some people like carrots, onions, and celery. Some people put sausage in their lentil soup, and that's fine. Also, I want to reiterate that your seasonings can vary. Now, obviously, if you're making curry and coconut milk uh, soup with lentils, then you want the coconut milk along with curry, turmeric, and cumin. But now the rest of your seasonings can be your seasonings of choice. I just chose adobo and smoked paprika. And then later on, I'm gonna put some cilantro in there. So I wanted to reiterate that as well. I also wanted to reiterate the thing about coconut milk. It can be stored room temperature. It can be stored in the refrigerator after opening up to three days. It will solidify if it's in the cabinet at room temperature, and that is normal. So don't worry about opening up your coconut milk and it being solid. Unless it smells really bad or it's really runny, it's okay. Just make sure that you're storing it properly. All right, folks, I decided to add some peppers to my lentil soup to give it a little bit more flavor and a little bit more heat. So I put one sereno pepper in there, and then I put a yellow and red mini pepper in there. And I also added a little drop of ginger paste to give it a little bit more heat and a little bit more flavor. Another thing that I wanted to add is if your vegetable broth or chicken broth or whatever it is, whatever liquid it is you're using starts to evaporate during the cooking process, you can always add more. All right, folks. Our lentil soup is done. I have topped it off with cilantro. And as you know, during the cooking process, I decided to add some peppers and some ginger paste. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this lime and I'm gonna squeeze it into the lentil soup. You don't have to add lime if you don't want to, but I like lime. So we're gonna add it to the lentil soup. And then, we're gonna take a bite, stir it up real good and take a bite. I added peppers during the cooking process and a little bit of ginger paste to give it a little bit more heat and a little bit more flavor. And I also added a little bit more adobo. So here we go. You ready? 
Mm. Good and tender, full of flavor. Got a little bit of heat to it. I got some non. These are non rounds. I got them at Food Line. And I've got some garlic and basil and Parmesan butter on it. I can't wait to dig into that. Let's take a bite. Mmm, perfect. All right, folks, that'll do it for today. Thank you for joining my channel. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen while we cooked lentil soup with curry and coconut milk. Stay tuned because next week I'm going to be cooking up an exquisite Italian dish.